Hey guys, I'm Dr. Gaming, and I'll be showing you how to configure OBS the right way so you can have high quality professional videos, unlike mine. Today, we're going to be exploring some of the settings for OBS. So, in order to follow this tutorial, you need to have OBS already downloaded. You can download it at the link in the video description. Now once you launch OBS for the first time, hit settings, and now we are at the general page. So in the general page, we don't really need to do anything. This page I have left pretty much untouched compared to the other pages minus the hotkeys section. So the first section we're going to is the stream section. So here you can choose the service you're streaming to, which in my case would be YouTube. Or you can choose Twitch or Smashcast or Mixer or Restream.io or Periscope or anything you want to use. Also, you can input your stream key in this section. Now on to the output page. So we're going to start in the recordings tab first, and the output mode should be set to advanced. The type should be set to standard. The recording path you can choose, but if you're recording at a high bit rate like me, you should probably be recording to an SSD. Now, if you do not have an SSD, I would recommend a lower bitrate. I record in MP4, since it is such a widely used standard, and my rate control is CBR. Encoder I have set to X264 because I have encountered problems with the other encoders. Now, bitrate, as I said, depends on what drive you are using. I have an M.2 NVMe SSD, and so it is able to handle such a high bitrate. But hard drives will unfortunately probably have problems in the end recording at such a high bitrate. Now we move on to the audio tab. So here we have the audio tab. I set my audio at, three, at a 320 kilobyte per second bitrate, uh, but generally most people uh, will be unable to tell the difference between 120 and 320 uh, or, or anything in the hundreds and compared to the 300s. I just had it, have it set at 320 for peace of mind. Replay buffer, nothing really to see here. Let's move on to the audio tab. Your sample rate should be at 48 kilohertz because, well, that's the best you can use in OBS. And also, uh, in your Windows settings, your mic should be set at 48 kilohertz too. Channels I have at stereo, uh, and my microphone is here, and my peak meter type is true peak and my audio, audio meter decay rate is at fast. Now let's move on to the video tab. My base resolution is 1920 by 1080 and my output is 1920 by 1080. My downscale filter is Lanzos, sharpened scaling, 32 samples, and my common FPS values are 60. This is going to be your... you definitely should have downscale fil filter and common FPS values the same as mine. You can input custom values for base and output resolutions, but uh, that's going to only be for people with ultra wide monitors or if you have a 4K monitor and you want to record at 4K. My process priority I have set at high and my renderer at direct. 3D11, so DirectX 11. Color format NV12, highest quality, 
YUV color space at 709 and YUV color range at full, both the highest quality. You'll notice I skipped over hotkeys. Now I don't really use hotkeys. It's this is probably going to be some for somebody that records a lot more than me uh, and streams more than me, but I've found no need to use hotkeys for streaming. So the encoder I use is X264, and, and by the way, before I go on, you might have been wondering about audio tracks because I'm pretty sure I skipped it, but I only use one audio track because even on my really big 34-inch monitor, it does become hard to see them all at once in my editing program. My bitrate is 2000, but that's because my internet is quite slow. Uh, you can generally do a lot higher than this. Uh, Twitch has set rules. Um, I'll try and remember to link that below, but if I don't, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, and there is a program that you can use. Uh, I'll, I'll try and link that too below where you can test your internet connection and it will tell you uh, right around where you should have your bitrate but you need to remember to leave uh, bandwidth for your game to run if you're playing games so you know if your if your internet connection upload internet connection is let's say five megabits per second uh, you need to or well, I'll do it in kilobits because that's what this is at. Uh, let's say 5,000 kilobits per second. Um, you're going to want to leave, you know, a little bit of bandwidth for your game to run on. My CPU usage preset is set at very fast because I am very fast. No, uh, that was a joke. Um, I'm running an AMD Ryzen 7 1700 CPU, and it's got eight cores and 16 threads. I could go higher on this, i.e. slower, because higher is less CPU. So the higher you go, like ultra fast is the lowest CPU usage you can have. Uh, I just set mine up very fast, never really tinkered with it. As you can see, recording this, CPUs have no problems at all. It's only at like 6-7% usage, so I could increase that a lot. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Also remember, I left links for all the stuff I talked about in this video in the description. While you're down there, hit like and get subscribed. Also down there is our Discord server, which you should definitely join.